Hey guys, I've been promising you a vinegar how-to for a long time. So, I'm gonna give you not only a vinegar how-to small scale, but also a large scale. I'm gonna show you what I'm actually doing on my farm. But here is the basics, how-to vinegar. So I've just poured off my FPJ into this bottle here. So now I have my finished FPJ and my remaining solids from the FPJ process. So this is done. And I got about that much there. Right here I'm making uh, noni FPJ, or I've just made. Noni is a, a plant that we have here in Hawaii and uh, full of medicinal properties, really good for you. Um, and anti-cancer, all kinds of fun stuff. So today what I'm gonna do, following now my Noni FPJ being finished, I am going to make Noni vinegar. So I have my Noni leavings, all the nice solids and sugar, all left over from the FPJ process. And I am gonna add to it water, super simple. I'm not going to give you an exact amount because I don't want you to get hung up um, and struggle with something where it's a little different from what I have in front of you and so you don't know how to make the conversion. A general rule, this can fluctuate based on how much, how sugary your plant was or various things, but a general rule is whatever amount of FPJ you get, you want to double that and return the water to make vinegar. So that's so that your vinegar isn't too weak. Here's the concept. If you have very little sugar and you add a ton of water, you're gonna have a very diluted, you're still gonna have vinegar, but a very diluted vinegar. It's not gonna have that strong bite. Um, so what you wanna do is kind of add just enough water to have that kind of normal store-bought acidity. Um, and a general rule for that is twice as much FPJ as you got out of the process, you want water returned to your solids for the vinegar process. So another way to say it is I want about two parts water to one part of these solids. And so what does that look like if you pour it in? It really just looks like I've filled up about the same amount or the same volume as I had solids in there. That's approximately one part water. So it just kind of covers about to the same line that my solids were up to. And then that second part of water fills up and adds kind of a, another level. So your first part of water just kind of fills in the cracks and looks about the, the level of the solids. And your second part of water um, comes up here and kind of raises the level. So, that's it. How to make vinegar, two parts water to one part solids left over from the FPJ process. You give it a cover and a rubber band and you leave it in a cool, dark place with this breathable for uh, a period of time. So how important is it that it's dark? Very important. If you leave this in the sun, you'll get some funky process and you may not form vinegar at all. This needs to be out of the sun because the, the microbes that are gonna work on this don't like direct sunlight. So how long? Well, if I don't add a mother or a, um, a, uh, a yeast bacteria culture that's already made vinegar, then I'm probably going to get um, vinegar in about three months. If I do add a mother, I found it to be about a month. Depends also on your temperature. So now you know how to make vinegar. Let me show you what a mother looks like just in case you want to do that. So this is a vinegar mother from some vinegar I made just a little bit ago. It's all fun. So this is solid biology. 
this is a, a symbiotic relationship between bacteria and yeast and they're gonna work together to process your sugars into alcohol and then from there your alcohol into vinegar so if I wanted to speed up this process I drop this into my container here and uh, this would jump start the process of this becoming vinegar if not the bacteria and yeast just already present in the air and in here will gain speed and slowly take over and make this vinegar so up to you how you want to do that if you don't have a vinegar mother already started you can go to the store and look for a living vinegar and it might say with the mother so um, one brand we have here in America is Bragg's apple cider vinegar and you can go and it says with the mother on the bottom just swirl a little of that get the cloudy stuff off the bottom and, and dump some of that in here and uh, that'll speed up your process hope you enjoyed how to vinegar let's check out how I make it on a large scale thanks guys as always, feel free to get a hold of me and ask questions if you don't understand anything or I didn't explain it enough. Happy to answer questions. Um, comment down below or uh, hit me up on Facebook or something. Alright, talk to you guys later.